YouTube. This is Infidel 556 here at Infidel Tactical Arms. Uh, back for part two on my loadout. Uh, we'll go with the best here. This is a Condor MOPC with level four uh, ESAPI plates. Uh, a lot of people say Condor's for airsoft and this and that, but uh, you know, I've been running plates in this for probably right at a year now. Trained three, four times a week, uh, most weeks on a, on a, on a normal week. Just all depends on work. Uh, anyway, um, I actually got this from Cheaper and Dirt, and Cheaper and Dirt market to hunters, uh, military, law enforcement. They have been buying from them for years, and they do not sell nothing to do with airsoft. But, uh, you know, to each their own. It was, uh, what, 70 bucks, and I mean, hell, it works. Um, I guess we can start from left to right. Um, right now, I, I, I like to to change my my stuff up a lot to, to see what works. Uh, but as of right now, I run my ear protection here. Just clip them off. Some old 1980s that I crawl on up. Put my name on. Easy access. Yep. All right. Uh, we got a Gerber River Runner. Just so I got a blade, fixed blade. It's kind of kind of feels a little cheap, but it, it's actually light, and you know it's Gerber, so you know the quality. It's good. Put a little. Actually, my buddy put a little lanyard on there. Uh, got the Surefire B70 Speed Holster. It was black. I cryolined it OD green. Uh, got the G2 rocking in it with a little, I think it's a tire off my little boy's one little car he broke. Helps out for a little more grip. Uh, got the witness marks on it so I know where it locks out. Uh, whoops. Uh, this B70 Speed Holster is really, really neat for 30 bucks. It will hold it bezel up, bezel down. It'll also hold it bezel, down, uh, bezel up with the clip on it. Uh, with a surefire pocket clip. It's really neat. Um, here I got a cat tourniquet just rubber banded on. You can break it if you needed to, whatever. Um, moving on, got a uh, 511 tactical uh, double M4 mag pouch. I usually run the covers down unless I'm hauling in a vehicle or whatever. Um, over here, I'm not for sure what this one is. I think it's a voodoo tactical. Uh, I kind of like to break the colors up, you know. I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with running it all one color, but I just kind of like to create my own camo, I guess you'd say. Uh, over here, rocking a Surefire uh, stylus, or a Streamlight stylus, excuse me. Um, up here, got a little flag patch. Uh, got my Voodoo Tactical sling. Run through the drag handle. Run through the shoulder straps. Keeps the weight off your neck. Keeps it cutting into your neck. Keeps it from cutting in your neck. Got my comms clip. Got that off right now. Over here, <clears throat> I got a uh, Condor double uh, pistol mag pouch. Multi-cam. Uh, here I got a, I don't even know what it is. Uh, mil spec tactical gear. <laughs> like nine bucks at the local gun store. Pouch is a pouch to me. Uh, it holds a mag, does the job. Got some little trauma shears. I think they're from Pakistan. That's kind of ironic, huh? Keep them just kind of stuck down in here. <clears throat> here I got a uh, 511, uh, another pistol mag multi tool pouch, rocking the SOGS. Here, <clears throat> got the little combat quick fix uh, uh, 20 gauge and a 12 gauge uh, shell that's been shot. Got some uh, strike anywhere matches. Yeah. Um, moving on around. Here I got this in a trade. It's a it's a bladder carrier, kind of like a Camelback. Uh, it don't have Molly, unfortunately. So I just kind of run it around the the Fast Tech buckles down, and it stays on pretty good. And the drag handle, I've got it tied up with my. Uh, uh, 
single point sling. It's kind of a little messy back here. I don't know if I'm gonna run it or not. Uh, in here, got some zip tie handcuffs, black tape. Never know what you might need them for. Type some pretty girl. Some freaky stuff going on or something. Got that right. Uh, my, my blowout kit. Got some uh, few pair of rubber gloves stuck down in there. I made me some little red crosses out of some little nylon strings. Super glued them on there. Put a little on the on the core so everybody knows it's medical. Here I got some medical tape. Uh, you could either roll it off like this or undo it. Um, quick clot. They've actually came out with the combat quick clot now, but whatever you got, it'll work. Israeli bandage or a, uh, a trauma wound bandage, compression, whatever you want to call it. Triangular bandage. Some medical tweezers. Uh, down in here, I got some burn cream that shouldn't be there. It should go back here, but it's all right. Got a, a, a emergency survival blanket. And just a little miscellaneous stuff, uh, some alcohol prep pads, uh, burn cream, stain cream, all that good stuff. Uh, let's see here. I believe that's it for that. This condor is kind of a copy of the uh, Eagle Cyrus. It opens up just like it. You got your little pull tab. Rock it open. And then you got your side release buckles. For those non believers, do got the East Sappies front and rear. It's got some kind of mesh lining to keep you cool. There is another East Sappy in here. Uh, you can actually remove the cummerbund and just run the front and back plate carrier on a hot day, whatever, get a little air. Uh, but I mean, for you guys on a budget, this is field tested. You can take my word. And like I said, it's been running East Appies for little over a year now and I mean the stitching's good I haven't found anywhere it's coming apart exactly 70 bucks good 60 70 bucks fixed. oh yeah here it does have a mat mat pouch I think I got some uh, fire starting uh, cat tourniquet instructions and a little survival tool my buddy uh, he dibbles and dabbles in survival gear and it's got a blade, uh, flathead, a uh, little ruler, uh, hex heads. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, anybody can tell me that'd be cool. Saw blade, uh, can opener. You never know. Comes in handy. Um, that's it for that. That's my one of my rigs. Uh, kind of my main rig. Um, I just want to tell you guys on these. Uh, my partner, Jag556, he showed y'all a little sneak peek. Um, he's going to do a, a really in-depth review on these uh, coming up, so stay tuned. And, uh, of course, you see the Drake over here. We are uh, about to SBR it in the near future. Uh, but, yeah, guys, uh, stay tuned. This is just a, a little peek at our gear, some of our gear. Uh, you can see the bunker over here. Our so-called bunker. Got a little bit more stuff. Uh, got a chemical suit, you know, uh, still in the package. Uh, just all types of stuff. Just stay tuned, and I'm sure you'll enjoy, and I hope you do. And uh, comment, rate, subscribe. We're going to have some training uh, vids coming up. More gear, more guns. Just a lot of gun porn, gear porn. Hope you enjoy.